So when I asked you if you felt like you were ready to retire, one thing we need to make sure is that you are actually eligible to retire. Again, since Lucera is based on the county employee's retirement law, all of the benefits that we give are in accordance with that law as well. So the retirement law tells us that if you are a contributory plan member, a member of plan A, B, C, or D, it means you're vested after you've been working five years and paying contributions for that time. See this little guy? He's vested. Cute, huh? So it means if he falls in the water, he's safe. It means if you leave county service after you've met that five-year vesting requirement, you're still entitled to a Lucero retirement benefit for the rest of your life once you meet retirement eligibility requirements, right? If you leave county service before you've met that five-year eligibility requirement or vesting requirement, it means that you're not vested. You can still be entitled to the money you put in, but not that ongoing lifetime payment and not those ongoing medical benefits either. So if you are in plan A, B, C, or D, you can retire as early as age 50 if you have 10 or more years of service. So it's a combination, age 50 and 10 years of service. How many of you meet that eligibility right now? None of you, really? Wow, okay. Um, if you happen to be a plan A, B, C, or D member who is under age 50, but you started working with the county before you hit age 20, the retirement law says that you can retire with, at any age if you have 30 or more years of contributory service. Anyone start like that? Start straight out of high school? I met a couple. Yeah, maybe? Yeah. Or if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum and you started working with the county very late in life, you can retire at age 70 no matter how many years of service you have. So that 68-year-old who just got hired by the county, he does not have to work till age 78 to start collecting a pension. The retirement law says once he hits age 70, he could go ahead and retire and collect a pension based on the two years he actually worked. And there's a little note down here that talks about reciprocal retirement system service credit. How many of you have heard of reciprocity? Raise your hand. No? Okay, we'll talk about reciprocity right now. But basically, reciprocal years get to meet these requirements as well. Um, for Plan E, on the other hand, we're talking about a vesting period of 10 years. You have to work for at least 10 years. If you leave and you only have nine years and 11 and a half months of service credit, you are not vested. So you want to make sure you work at least that long to lock yourself in to make sure that you are eligible to collect retirement benefits someday in the future. And you can start collecting those benefits if you are at least 55 years old and have those 10 years of service credit. Or if you hit age 70, no matter how many years of service credit you have. And again, reciprocal years get to count towards those vesting and retirement eligibility requirements. And when we talk about reciprocity, we're talking about a very special relationship that Lucera has with other public pension systems within the state of California. And really, this was developed to encourage people to stay in public service. So maybe you come to a point where you feel like, I don't want to work for LA County anymore. Or maybe, hey, you know what? I'm moving to another county. Obviously, I'm not going to be commuting all the way to San Francisco and back to LA County every day. That doesn't make any sense. But I might be able to pick up a public service job that has a similar retirement system like Lucera. Basically, what it does is it helps you preserve the retirement that you've already built here at Lucera and helps you build on that foundation in that new retirement system. So we have this special relationship with a lot of different retirement systems within the state of California. The biggest one, of course, being CalPERS that handles the state and a lot of other municipalities. But when it comes to reciprocity, there are um, some requirements that you have to meet. You can't just leave and join another system someday. You have to have less than a six-month gap between the time you leave L.A. County and the time you join that new system. Or it could work vice versa. Maybe you came from another retirement system. You left your money on deposit with them, and within six months after leaving that system, you joined L.A. County. Reciprocity can be incoming or it can be outgoing, but it's a way that we can connect the systems together to form a chain, and basically it means that you don't have um, just a couple years here and a couple years here. You have a whole career put together, and it means that you're still eligible for those retirement benefits if you meet your vesting eligibility using these years of service as well. 
So it's actually a very good thing for you. It can be seen as maybe an alternative to retirement. Maybe you're done with LA County, but you still know that you want to work in the public sector. This is one way that you can continue building on the retirement foundation you've started with LA County, with LaSera. Okay. LaSera is going to pay you for the years and months of service credit that you have with LA County. That new retirement system, in fact, I think we have an example here. Let's see. There we go. So in this scenario down here, if a person started working with the state of California and they had CalPERS retirement, they left CalPERS, maybe they even withdrew their money from CalPERS, and they came to join LA County. They started with LaSera with less than a six month gap. That person is actually allowed to redeposit to CalPERS and to connect the two systems together. And then Maybe after leaving LA County, they go work for Orange County. And again, with less than a six month gap and no overlap in service credit, you can have that reciprocity link yourself from the state to the county to Orange County. And now you get retirement checks at the time you leave the last system. You wanna make sure you retire concurrently, the same date for all of the different systems. And you'll get a check from CalPERS for your state time a check from LaSera for your county time, and a check from OSERS, uh, the Orange County Retirement System, for your Orange County time. And LaSera's health benefits are only based on the years that you actually worked with LA County or the years that you buy with LA County. Unfortunately, we don't have reciprocity when it comes to the medical insurance, but we do have a very special relationship with LA City. That's the only system that we have uh, medical reciprocity with.